This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing fine. Today we are going to learn about different spacer designs given by different authors. So here I have a couple of casts on which I have made the different spacer designs. So today we are going to learn about them one by one. Okay, so we all know that impression technique can be broadly classified into mucostatic, mucocompressive and selective pressure technique. So in mucostatic, all the tissues are recorded in the static means undisturbed form so the material of choice here is such a way that it is free flowing material like the impression plaster so it does not apply pressure on the tissues that is why it is called the mucostatic static means fixed not stable okay and the second is mucocompressive impression technique where we record the tissue in their functional form so like if you are using the impression compound that is applying a pressure on the tissues so we are recording the tissues in the functional form okay so though it will provide stability but it will also lead to the residual ridge resorption so that is not a very good technique and then we have the selective pressure technique which is the most accepted one so here let me just remove this in our upper arch, there are certain areas that will require relief like the incisive papilla, the mid palatine raphae. So, so in selective pressure technique, what we do, we give relief to the areas that needs to be relieved and we apply pressure on the stress bearing areas like the horizontal slopes of the heart palate, like the residual ridge, okay, the maxillary tuberosity. So all these areas, they will bear the forces and the areas that need relief will be relieved so that is the selective pressure technique and it is the most commonly you know accepted one it is the most accepted one so let us go to the design one by one so here we have let me just pick both of these this is the spacer design by Boucher and it is based on the selective pressure technique so here you can see this is a slightly thicker wax compared to this because obviously this is a spacer wax and here I am using a modeling wax on the left hand side. So ideally we should be using this spacer wax only. It is very thin. Okay. So according to Boucher, he said that we have to cover the entire area, entire basal seat area except the posterior palatal seal. Okay. So this is about the maxillary one, right? And in the mandibular, he said that we have to cover all the area except the buckle shelf area okay this buckle shelf we have left also while making the design first of all if you are very new to making spacers first of all what we'll do we mark the sulcus okay the depth of the sulcus all round and then 2 mm above it i hope you can see So here you can see the purple line it is going 2 mm above the line of the sulcus okay so that should be the extension of our custom tray and 2 mm further above should be your spacer so if i keep it okay so here you can see our spacer is 2 mm above that purple line okay so total 4 mm above the sulcus should be the extension of the spacer all right then we come to the next design which is given by sherry so these are the two let us first talk about the maxillary one okay it's difficult for me to hold both of them together <laughs> okay so he said that see if you compare this to the voucher one you can see that here even the pps is covered right even the posterior palatal seal is covered and we also have four tissue stops here okay we have two in the cuspid region and two in the molar region so this is the voucher one 
and this is the sherry one okay and sherry also recommended that while making impression you know we have to make a vent hole in the incisive papilla region okay next we have the morrow rudd and rhodes so here we have three tissue stops the designs are very much similar except that we have three tissue stops in the morrow rudd and rhodes and we have four tissue stops in the sherry design the tissue stops here should be 4 into 4 mm in dimension okay then we have the bernard and levin design so according to him we should adapt the wax to all the areas except the posterior part of the palette so you can see here we have all the tissues covered but the palette is left open Okay, so we have a couple of more designs here. This is the helperin. As you can see, this is a very unique design. Few days back, I had posted an image on my Instagram page asking you guys the design. Which design is it? And to my surprise, I got no replies on this. So this is the helperin one. So here you can see we have the periphery covered and also the buckle slopes covered. Little bit of the buckle slope as well as the periphery covered with a thick wax. The benefit in this design is that no secondary wash impression is needed because the border molded areas act as the final impression surface so you can directly pour the master cast. Here we have the mandibular design halperin mandibular design then we have the eye spacer so here just the incisive papilla and the mid palatine raphe is covered then we have the T spacer so the T spacer can be used when we have resorbed and flabby ridge so it covers the prominent portions like the incisive papilla, the rugae, the mid palatine raphe, okay. And then lastly I have the Sanath Shetty design which is my favorite one because it looks really good. So here if I show it to you, you can see that we have two layers, right? So according to his design, first of all we will place a thin sheet of wax which is a major connector wax in all areas except the posterior palatal seal. So here you can see I have left the PPS, right? And then above it we have one more layer which is a 1.5 mm thick layer of modeling wax. Here you can see the wax is removed from the palate, right? From the horizontal slopes of the palate and also it is removed from the crest of the ridge. Why? Because these are the stress bearing areas. So he removed the modeling wax from these areas, right? Also we have, you know, four tissue stops in the lower one, okay? So this is the Sanit Shetty's design. Apart from these, we also have some other designs which are not very important. So we are not talking about them. If I have left any design which is important, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. It really motivates me to create more videos of this kind. I would be very happy if you share Dr. Teeth and help us reach 1 lakh subscribers by end of this year. Meanwhile, you can visit our website and sign up for free and learn more. Okay, bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.